It totally does. Uh, I was going through a depression, major depression spiral before I got into this specific Milsim group and onto VR itself. All my real life friends are pretty much on the other side of the country by now. That that I can't talk to them. I can't be human. Here you can be human. You can talk to people. I wouldn't say it's like a bullshit claim. I totally understand where people are coming from when they say it saved my life. But at the same time, it's not like like the people who claim something like that. It's like just temporary. You know, like they say, I can definitely imagine VR chat saves people's life temporary for like people who are like, they don't be social. So they come here or they are scared or whatever reason that could be. But by the end of the day, this is just a platform that who knows like how long it will exist. Who knows what will happen next? So as soon as this place is not like good anymore or good enough anymore, they will be back at like the low point that they used to be, if that makes sense. It really changes people. Yeah, you know, it helps okay. even when people are at the most desperate uh, times of like, you know, loneliness and that this is a great start to make new friends. You know, it's like us, any other social media, I guess. <clears throat> There's people who are like truly alone in the world and will like some friends and that are want to interact with others or just want a friend. Yeah, it's another way to go with it, as far as this game goes. But these are real people and everything and all. So. <laughs> yeah, and then with the amount of friends that you have obtained in that, there'll be a greater influence for different things, and whether you want to listen to them or not in that. So <clears throat> so I believe it. I believe it. I, I haven't been on here for that long. I enjoy the game. I like talking to people. I can, I can see it that maybe it could help to open up to people, to talk about the problems you have, like with people who's going through the same thing. That that's how I see it. Like if someone's depressed and they're thinking about the bad thoughts, you just need to talk it out. Mm -hmm. But that's just me talking. You feel me? Okay, hell yeah. So uh, it's called Humans of VR. Go to his channel on YouTube and give him a follow. No, I think it probably causes more stress and like I can see because I've had my fair shares of good and bad times on this game. But like, there's a point where you should like stop and. Just get off this game because i've how many hours have i got on this well steam i've got 2k almost but like there's a point in time where you need to stop and get off this game because it does really affect you mentally it stresses you out all that shit but there is it's it's good but bad it's like just a roller coaster there's there's never going to be like a straight path for it because you're always going to have stress say you get in a friendship group drama happens you're stressed about that it's going to affect you mentally then even even just wearing the headset can cause you a lot of like not mental like it does affect you even though you don't think it does it it does i've met people i never would have met outside of this other way otherwise sorry people from all walks of life just come on to give it a try and if you're lucky to bump in some of these people i've bet i've met a brain surgeon like surgeon once i met elementary school teachers that give like unique perspectives on what it's like all kinds of people you never would have met or interacted with, you can just bump into them as if it was on the street. And since they've got no obligations to be anywhere, since they're already there to do exactly that, you can hear all kinds of things. They are definitely a lot more fragile and fleeting, but at the same time, I am a little biased because I've had several unique opportunities to meet these people in real life and share real experiences with them. While the experience we've had in VR hanging out together and doing shit definitely doesn't compare to the real life and the experiences you'd get there, it does open a doorway to for those real interactions that you can have. Like, for instance, this year, New Year's Day, I'm meeting up with a whole host of people in London to watch the fireworks, which is just something I wouldn't have been able to have done. I think that uh, it could, like, be able to open up, like, if people have trouble talking, you know? then it could open up the way to, you know, talk more and stuff. Because I have problems talking. It took me an entire year to even talk in VR. One of my good friends is a Kiwi, and I haven't been able to see him physically in real life, but I've been able to see him here and talk to him, just get shit off my chest. And he's been able to do the same thing with me. It saves lives. It helps heads. It, it's a good way. Um, what if I'm going to shut up now because I'm rambling. You two go on. Yeah, totally. I'm I'm playing like 3D chat games since I was like what 10 years old. 
I'm 28 now. It started with like games like I Am View, Second Life, other games where you like meet people. The only relationship that I ever like had and then a relationship is my husband. Like I met him online, like that's also like over 10 years ago. But everything else, it keeps changing and it always will. And like, this is not a reason to be sad or devastated or whatever, because like, you just need to know that this will happen. But for some people, this is like a very hard pill to swallow, especially when they are like new to any kind of social game. You know, some people can take this a little too far sometimes and shit, you know, like uh, people say, that, yeah, VRChat is a great game. At the same time, there's not, because <laughs> it could be dark, because <laughs> there's certain parts of VR chat that people are not aware of, like from doxers, dedoxers, crashers that could actually fuck up your computer and shit, complete malicious people. <clears throat> it can get real sour sometimes, but that's okay, it doesn't stop me from coming here. In fact, I think it makes even more issues, like they don't deal with the issues they have in real life. So they come here, they think, oh, like everything is better, I can socialize, I have a partner, I have a family or whatever. But nothing online is like forever. It's always temporary. The friends in here, they come and they go. The partners, they come and they go. Like nothing is real because you have so like the variety of people that you can meet is so big. You will never stay with the same people. You will always like find better and better and better and better. So. I definitely understand when people say like, oh, I came here and it saved me. It's such a good place or whatever. But this place makes more issues in the long term than it does like fixing it. I don't have any that I know of and shit. I've just been seeing drama come and go. People cry, rise back up and then they're good. And then they start crying because of more drama and then they rise back up. <laughs> that kind of sort of thing. It's like, uh, look at tidal wave up in that bitch. <laughs> I feel like eventually, yeah, they start. People start finding their place. Yeah, what group do you want to hang out with? You want to hang out with the crashers? Go for it. All right. You want to hang out with the furries? Go for it. You want to <laughs> hang out with the fucking e boys? Go for it. <laughs> it's kind. Of, it's kind of like school. You, know, you got your little. It. You got your yeah, little clips here and there. And <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, you just gotta seek out the groups in that. Once you find the right one and shit, there you go. You know your place. <laughs> While I don't think it's a healthy alternative to social interactions. And I don't think people should use this as their primary social interaction place. I definitely think it can be a good stepping stone into being able to make better social interactions with people, building confidence, learning how to talk to people. Yeah, I think it's a good stepping stone, but should not be relied upon. Absolutely. I mean, look at where we are. A virtual, like, strip club, basically. This is as bad as it gets. And all the fact that I'm here as well. But yeah. They're basically comparing it with the Matrix at this point. People are living in their headsets. Some people just live in their headsets, which definitely isn't a good thing. Well, with the way the world is at the moment, it's getting more and more upset to hear about the real world with what climate change, politics going to shit. It's just not becoming a nice place to be, and I could see why some people would want an escape, but that isn't the healthy thing to do. I come here recreationally. I come here to like hang out with people on occasion been here for a good few years and i've definitely seen it get worse as it becomes more popular the more people rely on it i see people sleeping in vr which is personally the thought of that is unbearable but some people see it as an escape but i think personally they should face the way the world is because how is it going to get any better if you lock yourself away in your room turn off all the lights and live a different life outside of the real one Mm, I see why people do that. Like, I don't think like the, I would never do that because <laughs> like it's nothing for me. But at the same time, the only reason I would never do that is because I have a very like healthy and happy family in real life. So people who come here and do family role play, I usually people who don't really have a real family. They've, they've been abused in childhood or they left their family because they didn't accept them or whatever reason it is. Like my experience with people who do like hardcore role play is that the real life family was like a mess and they don't have anything else. This is their, their only replacement of having a family. Because I don't take it that serious. I don't think take things too, like, too close to my heart, if that makes sense. I come here to have a good time. I come here to watch movies because I, like, I don't want to watch movies alone in real life. 
and you can't meet up with people every day to like watch movies, <laughs> you know? So I do it here. Like I'm, I'm super busy in real life. I have a full-time job. I have a dog. I have a huge house to take care of. I have a son. Like I don't have time to like go out every day. Right. So my free time, like those two or three hours a day I spend here and I spend it drama free. That's why I keep staying here because Like, I'm not getting sad if people leave or, like, when people have a fight or something like that. I mean, some people don't like talking to people in the outside world. So I feel like sometimes it can help people, but save lives? I don't think that's possible. Yeah, like, VR chat can be fun at times. Kindness is contagious. When you are kind, you inspire others. Be the spark. Spreading Kindness merchandise available now.